Giacindolo in Villa Stewart, Rome. This is a very important day because today we finished three procedures in local anesthesia treating BPH and uh, lower urinary symptoms related to BPH with two innovative techniques, the reason one and the green light laser. These two techniques are not so new, but what is new today is the use of shelling catheter. This catheter by Prostalune. This catheter is a special one because it's a catheter with a, a small needle inside, a small plastic needle inside that could be used for deploy the needle into the prostate and outside the prostate from urethra to the prostate capsule. And in that position, we can inject lidocaine or other anesthetic, anesthetic products or mix. In that way, we repeat the procedure on one side and on the other side. We leave few seconds, the anesthetic product has effect. And at the end of the history, we ensure a very good anesthesia for this patient. I repeat, I performed two recent procedures, one of 60 grams of prostate with a third lobe, a second one of 103 grams of prostate with an obstructing a third lobe, in young patients requiring uh, um, ejaculation preservation and obstruction relief. We also tested the, this device for a standard a green light laser in a patient with a medium-sized prostate. The patient was happy to share with us his uh, this experience. If he went on the, on the operatory bed and come back to the, the, his bed completely alone, and this was so successful. From an anesthesiological point of view, the patient has not received the first, the second, and the third patient. No one received a, a painkiller during the procedure, just a small assistance with 2.5 milligrams of midazolam, just to improve the uh, operatory room experience, to get some an, um, amnesia, because this is so important to increase the comfort of uh, uh, for, for this patient. I think this is a very innovative treatment you can adopt uh, in, uh, in, your, in your OR because this ensures fast recovery, short hospitalization, better management of, of this patient, this disease, and can also speed up uh, the procedures. One consideration is done for frail patient because we can use this technique in order to treat patient frail with the several uh, comorbidities elderly that cannot uh, tolerate nor uh, nor uh, spinal anesthesia nor general anesthesia or sedation so this is my experience i'm so happy to share with you